Russell and I made a skateboard from scratch starting with seven plies of maple veneer. A foam block of insulation was used to provide the shape of the skateboard. A megalodon sized thank you to Brian and Andrew and Adam and Mike and Blue Dot Education. Thanks for mailing the supplies to us way out here in Western North Carolina. <laughs> Once the foam was shaped, it was time to lay out the pieces of veneer, get the glue, and make a mess. Is that the one done? Then the part where your feet are going to go? Is this really smooth side right here? The next step is to stack the veneer on top of the foam mold. Let's do three layers. That's a chicken. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to seal up the vacuum bag, pump out all the air, and create pressure in order to squish the layers of veneer together until the glue dries. This part requires a little bit of patience. There we go. I'm not sure. What do you think? Should we try to do everything? Okay, let's go for it. The smoothest, right? Can you feel that? That's the smoothest. So that's the last. It's going to go on top like a sandwich. Okay. So as we're gluing the last four plies on, you might notice that the veneer blanks are different sizes. And uh, right. this is because uh, they were cut for oh, two different buddy. size skateboards, uh, but because Russell is a smaller human, we are making a smaller size skateboard. So um, everything is going to be cut down with the jigsaw right here. Finishing the skateboard required some clamping and gluing and rasping and some sanding. Once it was smooth, we painted it black, threw on a Stormtrooper sticker from Grandma in California, added some fluorescent green grip tape, trucks and wheels, and headed to the local skate park. Thanks for watching. Cheers.